So I will contend now that every single thing on here is necessary. But here's the problem. Now in a group like this, you're all sophisticated, so I know we're going to be able to have this discussion. For a lot of people, they like to play the silver bullet game. They pick their favorite one and they say, well, that's the answer. I love the electric car, so I don't know why we're having this discussion. It's, we're all going to be driving Priuses and it's all going to go away. No. We can all drive Priuses and it won't go away. Well, I think the answer is going to be turning sugar into oil because we now know how to do that. We do. In fact, in Brazil, they now have the first facility that's taking sugar cane and making oil out of it. And I say, that's great. Let's make more of it. It's not enough. We need every single thing on here. So let's look at corn. Not to pick on corn, I just think it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great example in that it's the largest of these alternatives, but I just like to put it in perspective. This is, 90, this is what 90 million acres looks like. That's how much corn we have in the U.S. If we took every single one of those kernels and made oil out of it, uh, made, gas, or made, a blend, made ethanol out of it to blend into gasoline, we would only displace 15% of our gasoline use, which amounts to less than 10% of our oil use. So, whether we want to go all the way or not is a policy decision, but it's not enough. Uh, Sugarcane is another very exciting crop that's gotten a lot of press lately. Um, as someone pointed out, Brazil is the largest single producer of sugar. Brazil produces one quarter of the world's sugar. Uh, the United States, Australia are also countries that produce a significant amount of sugar. But let's play the game of, let's say we could take all of the sugar in the world and make oil out of it. How much could we make? And the answer is a very decent amount. If we took all of the sugar in the world and turned it into distillate fuel, diesel fuel, we could make over two million barrels of oil per day. And let's make no mistake about it, that's, that's enormous. In fact, that's the entire consumption of France and one-tenth that of the United States. But the problem is, again, it's not quite enough. 